Welcome to ConSpark. We're live in Cambridge, Massachusetts at MIT, attending the Chief Data Officer Quality Symposium, where the world leaders in data have gathered here with us. My name is Matthew Duremo. I am your guest host. Joining me today is Vipin Gopal. He is the Chief Data and Analytics Officer with Eli Lilly. How are you doing today, Vipin? I'm doing very well, thank you. Thank you so much for spending some time with us and uh, electing to answer some questions. You're most welcome. So I'm going to just jump right into it. Does that sound good? Yeah, absolutely. How about a softball? Sure. Let's kick it off. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so what does success look like to you as a chief data officer? Yeah. So uh, there is a tremendous amount of data that's being generated every day. And uh, if we can uh, really leverage that data uh, to drive uh, better decisions, uh, to generate uh, innovative products, um, and to accelerate uh, the way uh, you know, any industry works um, and, and to enable innovation. Uh, so those are kind of things that, um, you know, uh, what a chief data officer can really enable the organization to do. So, um, you know, if you can do one or more of these things, uh, that's success. So you make it sound so simple at the end of the day, right? Um, we got to make it simple, uh, <laughs> but the work that needs to happen underneath is complex. And that's where I'm getting at, right? It's yeah. not that simple. Right. So what right. are some of those challenges that you face as a, as a chief data officer? Yeah, so, um, it, it, you know, I've been in Lilly uh, a little more than a year as the chief data analyst officer. Uh, prior to that, um, I was uh, with um, in the health insurance space uh, uh, leading analytics. Um, and the first half of my career uh, was spent in um, non-healthcare companies. So I've been through four uh, Fortune 100 companies prior to joining Lilly. Um, the, the, the key observation that I have is um, that from the challenge perspective, uh, if you look at today, uh, many of our data uh, systems have been developed uh, um, in a very uh, siloed fashion. Um, you know, they were organically grown um, and, uh, you know, the challenge is how do we bring together the various data sets that we have to solve big problems. So uh, solving big problems require multidisciplinary approaches and leveraging data that comes from multiple sources. So um, the, the challenge that we are looking at right now is how do we enable rapid collection, curation, and integration of data to solve the questions, the business questions that we have in front of us. So the nuts and bolts and the piping um, and the overall technology approach that we want to take to make that happen, um, you know, across that um, entire value chain, um, uh, you know, there needs to be uh, solutions that will enable us to do this better. Sure. So, you know, so much of, of the time gone by, data was viewed as simply a, a number out of accounting or a characteristic mm -hmm. inside of marketing. So, you know, help me ex understand what, what does data mean to you? Excuse me, what does data mean to you now yeah. kind of going forward? Yeah, so uh, data is really a strategic asset mm -hmm. for any company um, uh, today. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, that may not have been the case a few years ago. I mean, data may be viewed as hey, an exhaust from a, a process. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we had a transaction and uh, there was data that resulted from that. We had a customer interaction that, that resulted in some data. Uh, but on the other hand, now we are looking at that and saying, hey, this is a strategic asset mm -hmm. and uh, we are going to compete on data and analytics. Um, so there are many companies uh, that are in uh, traditional businesses, uh, maybe that may be in, in the grocery business, uh, retail business, even health insurance business. Mm -hmm. uh, many of them are now saying that they're competing on data and analytics. They're a data and analytics company not a retail company, not a grocery right. uh, uh, chain, uh, or not a health insurer. So that's basically what data means to me uh, in terms of having that, uh, 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 really managing data as a strategic asset and building businesses around it. Sure, well great, appreciate that. So to, to wrap it all up, what, what do you view this data world being in the future? Yeah, so um, I, I think we are at a point where um, uh, the, the entire data community, um, you know, recognizes the rapid growth in data. And now we are getting into the thinking around 
um, you know, how do we manage this in a very strategic fashion moving forward? You know, we are moving from the world of ad hoc solutions. I think in, in the past we have uh, come up with solutions that may have uh, uh, been developed for a certain purpose, but now we are saying, hey, we need to address a broad range of questions and how do we uh, approach this in a more strategic and sustainable fashion? Um, so, you know, the traditional uh, uh, big, uh, big data for Vs, uh, the, the variety, the volume, the, veros uh, the, the veracity uh, and the velocity uh, of, of data, um, that, is, that is going to be prominent, uh, even more prominent moving forward. So the, the solutions that we need to put in place and the future um, uh, uh, you know, directions that we need to take uh, needs to address the, uh, the complexity of the data that we will have moving forward. Um, you know, so for example, um, even in healthcare, um, in, in the healthcare uh, uh, area, I mean, whether, 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 whether you sort of take the payer space or the provider space or the pharma space, a uh, lot of the data that's been generated um, are coming from uh, customer interactions. Every time a, cust a patient touches the healthcare system, some data is generated, and then in, in, in the pharma space, there are data around clinical trials and, and so on and so forth. But again, if you think about it now, uh, there are a variety of IOTs, Internet of Things, that are generating data in a very real-time fashion, and that's fundamentally different from um, uh, the data collection that happened uh, in the healthcare ecosystem before. Mm -hmm. So the, the fundamental change that needs to happen is how do you leverage the, the vast amounts of real-time data that's being generated through IOTs and other mechanisms, combine that with the more of the uh, lower velocity data like claims data, and, and also uh, use that uh, to manage our patients uh, and help them have better uh, clinical outcomes. Well, Vipin, I greatly appreciate all your insights that you shared with us. Thank you so much for, for spending some time and answering our questions. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Wonderful. So for more information on today's interview, please visit conspark.tech.